This is an election about big things. We can get big things done. We have a common starting point. Of believing again who we are. Ronald Reagan, his farewell address to the American people. His last words read the last two paragraphs of this speech. He expressed concern. He expressed concern about the future of America. Because in our schools and in our culture, we were learning about a very different America than the America that he learned about. The America that I just described is not the America that is often taught. It's certainly not the America that this political class, as well as our educational and cultural institutions They talk about the brokenness of America, the unfairness of America, the inequality of America, instead of the opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most important election of your lifetime. This is the most important election, I think, since the election of 1860. Because what America is about, what our signers of that declaration pledged that day in July of 1776, in the face of insurmountable odds of ever establishing a republic, ever in breaking away from the most powerful country in the history of the world. They signed this document and pledged to each other their lives, their fortunes, and their safety. In pursuit They knew that their task was seemingly impossible, but they also knew that if they did succeed, it would be equally as hard, particularly as generations got farther away from the flame that burned so brightly in that day in Philadelphia. The people were tired. The silent song of government doing things for you that you don't have to do for yourself anymore would wither that flame would sound appealing to those who may think that it might be easier for them, might be safer for them. The job of creating freedom is hard, but the job of maintaining freedom is equally as hard. Generations come and go, and most don't have great tasks put before them critical times and junctures in our country's history. One that did, that we refer to as the greatest generation, is the greatest generation not because, in my humble opinion, they had any better character or love of this country than you did. But what they did do is, with their moment, their challenge to America's liberty was put before them. They rose they sacrificed, they did their duty, and met it.